Hi, welcome to techev.com channel, your solution providers. I'm Jack. Now I am going to introduce you with Cinema 4D, which is developed and marketed by Maxon Computers. It is often shot into C4D in forums, blogs, and search engines. Cinema 4D is the most advanced, sophisticated, and user friendly 3D modeling and animation software. It has versatile features and interoperability capability that supports most of the design projects on popular computer graphics software like Adobe Photoshop, Illustrator, After Effects, and so on. You can equip this software with the plugins of different third party developers easily and comfortably. However, it has five modules and will work in Cinema 4D Studio module. In this tutorial, I want to introduce the following aspects of Cinema 4D. Firstly, introduction to interface. Secondly, simple 3D modeling. And finally, rendering the project. Well, first thing first is the interface of Cinema 4D. Cinema 4D has so many features and I have divided this interface in seven different areas according to their application. Here is the menu bar. Menu bar has the same features or options like other softwares. Here is the file menu. Under file menu, you have common features like save, save as, open new. These are the sub menu. Edit menu has the same features as like the other softwares. And here is the create menu. In the create menu, we have uh, sub menus relating to the object, spline and other features of this software. And after that, we have a uh, very important menu here, MoGraph. This is very powerful menu in Cinema 4D. It's, it has so many features to model any anything, any object and modify the object through this menu and these are the major function of the menu bar after menu bar there is the toolbars inside these toolbars we have uh, the selection and move tools render preview and these are the tool of create menu what's inside this create sub menu we have we have this object in an icon here are very important tools or the functions and camera operation and light settings these are the tools in the left side this is another tool menu it, it helps us to modify the object quickly and after that we have the main window this is the main window of cinema 4d in this window we can create anything any object this is a cube and we can see move zoom in zoom out this object using these buttons this is the screen control button here is the top view port front view port and right view port and this is perspective one if we select this one and maximize this option here is the front view and we can minimize it we can maximize this perspective view now we are back we can use this button to rotate our object rotate the view just click and drag after that we have zoom in and zoom out option and here is the move option
that's all about main window of cinema 40 and we have different options here to control this view here is the object attributes panel when we take uh, in this panel we, we see the objects in a list within a hierarchy when we select an object we can link a tag with this object this tag defines the objects characteristics objects physics whether this object is liquid or rigid body everything will be shown in this area and this is the object attributes zone we can change the dimension parameter of the object through this area and we can change it make it smooth after that we have this timeline this timeline is very much similar to the timeline of other editing or animation softwares we have the start point and end point in between we can change the frames or count the frames increase the frames then we can we can play the animation here is the play button and we can record the activities inside this zone here is the record button and we will use and I uh, and I will show using these buttons and, uh, and functions in other tutorials and here is the shader or material index we can import the materials here and just we can drag this shader on the object either or to place here and the shader is implemented on the object and if we want to see the final presentation just click here nice it's like a class cube just click here and here is the zone this is positioning zone if we change the position of the object here is the changes changes here happens the changes and this is the object attributes zone when we pick up any object inside this screen the name of the object is shown under this list in this list we can arrange our objects in a hierarchy and placing here we can see the attributes or parameters of the object we can change the parameter from here or this way or here is the yellow buttons we can drag resize anyway we prefer we need it and we have here the tag menu it defines the object what will be the structure of the object whether it's a liquid object or uh, soft body or rigid body object that, that means it's a complete application of the physics physics of any object we can place color to this object just create a color or new material double click it and change the color the stuff is the color here was changed
well uh, after designing or modeling we can save or we can export or render the object of the model at the render preview button this is for a single frame if you want to render a sequence or make a movie we have the render setting here we can change the settings output size with height resolution it is the saving options what format we need is a jpg if we make want to make any movie then we have quick time movie format well i suppose it will help you so far i'll discuss and explain other issues in the next tutorials thanks for joining in techiv.com channel your solution providers